Hello again. Today we are going to be continuing on our Red Hat Satellite Infrastructure setup. And the first thing we need to do is install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9. So what we're going to do is we need to set it up first. So I'm going to log into the KVM server. And here we're going to create a new VM. We will call it Satellite 610. Your local install media. Put the path for the ISO for Red Hat 7.9. It detects it as a Red Hat 7.9. That's good. We're creating a new volume. And we are going to create, I believe, 400 gigabytes. Yes, a 400 gigabyte partition. And we want 25 gigabytes of RAM. We're going to do create and edit. Going to come down to our network interface, edit, change it to bridge, and virtual bridge zero. Save. And then we're going to hit install. Give that a minute to come on up. Okay, we need to expand this out so we can see it better. Hit continue for English. Now we just give it a minute to detect everything so we can make our changes. Date and time is correct. Keyboard is correct. Installation source is correct. We want to change this. We are going to choose infrastructure server and hit done. <clears throat> now we are going to partition our volume. So I'm going to say I want to configure partition myself and hit done. Sometimes I just like doing this just to kind of get everything all set. Don't need, I'm going to take away this one. What I want to do is add a new mount point. And first we'll start with var log. And I'm going to give it 11.18 gigabits and mount point. Then we're going to do var lib pulp 
This is the one that needs the most space. We are going to do 302.68 gigabits. Add amount of point. And then we're going to change, we have 22.81 left. So we're just going to change this to 73.32 gigabits and hit update settings. And there we go. It's always a good idea to have your pulp in its own. That way you can um, use LVM to increase this volume if need be at a later time. So we're all set. So we're going to hit done and accept changes. Finally, we're going to make changes to our IP configuration. We want to use manual. We're going to hit add. 192.168.1.5 for the gateway DNS server is our previous pi hole server that we set up in our search domain we'll hit save turn on the network we'll call it satellite home the root user.com and apply and we're done and finally we can do we can begin the installation all that starts set a root password done. I'm not going to create a user at this moment. And now we just wait for the installation process to complete. So I'll be back in a bit. And it says complete. So we are ready to go. We can just reboot and then register the server. So let's reboot now. All right, the server is up. The next step is going to be to put it into DNS. So let's switch over to that now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the local DNS and we're just going to call it satellite. Assign it the IP address. And add it in. All right, that is all set Back to the dashboard. You see the pie hole is working nicely so far. Now let's move on to log on the satellite from the terminal. So we're gonna log on the satellite now. So we'll go SSH root at satellite root user.com. Say yes, put in the password. And this shows us that DNS is indeed working. All right. So first thing to do, subscription manager register. I think it's this. Subscription manager list consumed. Okay, so we'll go subscription manager attach and auto for now. All right, now let's patch it. 
ensure everything is up to date. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes, so we'll skip past all this. Okay, now, so the update is done, so we need to reboot because we got a new kernel. So let's reboot real quick. Once that reboots, we will need to add the subscription for satellite itself. Okay, so we are on there. Let's paste this command in. So this is subscription manager list all available matches and then the one we're looking for. The pool ID, subscription manager, attach, pool, Okay, we are now registered with the satellite infrastructure subscription. So let's clear the screen and start the per and we can start the process. So subscription manager repos disable all. All right. Now we're going to enable Rail 7, Satellite 610, Satellite Maintenance 6, Software Collection 7, and Ansible 2.9. Clear the screen again. Do a yum update just to check, make sure nothing is added with the new repos we added. Don't think so, but just to double check. Looks like we got something. So it's one package and dependency. All right, our next thing is yum install satellite. Simple, you typing right? Yep, simple as that. Couple files, 1.2 gigabytes total install size. So we're gonna say yes. Yeah, I'm going to fast forward, of course. Now it's recommended that you have, you know, time synchronization. So we're going to make sure we have Prony installed. It should be. It is system CTL status status chronic D and it's already active and running so chances are it's already gonna be going you should have SOS installed too just double check all right, now we're gonna do the initial setup. 
This is going to tell the satellite installer to do the scenario satellite. The initial organization, we're just going to call it the root user. The location, we'll just put Raleigh and default admin and Red Hat for the passwords. We can change those later. Start that. All right, so it is now done. What I'm going to do is copy this. This right here tells you how to generate um, capsule certs if you need it for a capsule. You can look up everything in the log if need be. What we're going to do now is um, open up the firewall ports. So for satellite, it needs port 80, 443, 5647, 8000, 8140, 9090, 53, and 67 and 69. So let's get those open. and then switch it from runtime to permanent. Now that it's up and running, we should be able to log on to our satellite server. So let's give that a try. When you first log on, it is not a private connection because it is not a trusted certificate. So we just need to go into advance and continue. And here we are. Satellite 6.10.7.1. We're going to log in with admin that we created and our password. And we are now in. We have our default location, our default organization. We also have a content section which gives you subscriptions, repositories a host section, let's get it to pump up, and I'll show you all the hosts that you have registered to it. We have a configuration section for host groups, environments with Puppet, Ansible roles, and the Red Hat Cloud with insights. Our in infrastructure section, we'll talk about our capsules, computer resources, this is where you can um, provision your own servers. And then we have an administration section, which covers things like locations, organizations, users, that kind of thing. What we're going to do first, and we'll be doing this in another video, is um, we'll be adding the subscriptions through a manifest and then downloading and synchronizing all our repositories. So that's going to be under the configuration portion of satellite. This video was just getting satellite up and running, which it is, and um, we have no problems here. So thank you for your time. I hope you were able to learn something, and uh, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can continue following this series. Look forward to seeing everybody again next time, and until then, have a great day, everybody. Bye.